anyways, the Bachelor finale tricked us. Camila Cabello's Rihanna work cover and more today on... I have a little announcement about my Bravo show tour group. There's no episode tonight like there normally is. It's being postponed until May 10th. You will see the next tour group episode. Mark your calendar. The Bachelor does it again. They trick us every season in the finale. You've probably noticed by now. Those editors always make it look like The Bachelor or Bachelorette is going to pick one of the last two people and then they pick the other one. We thought Ben was going to pick JoJo, but he picked Lauren B. Spoiler, if you didn't know, he picks Lauren B. Here's where the trickery occurred. So they show that Ben's mom really liked Jojo better when she met the parents. Also that intense bathroom scene where he drops the bomb on her that he's also told Lauren that he loves her too. Watch. He loves her too. Am I right? Yes uncommon that The Bachelor told two women he loves them. I feel like that's a red flag there. That's never happened. Also, Ben and Jojo kept telling each other that they were best friends and why would you let your best friend go? So they wanted you to think that Ben was going to pick Jojo. But there was no way he was going to pick Jojo. When he met her family went horribly wrong. He did not get along with her brothers. And did anyone else notice that Jojo's brother was Ben Patton who was on Juliana Rancic and Bill Rancic's dating show Ready for Love? But that show was cancelled after like two episodes. Another weird red flag. So much reality TV in one family. But from the second episode of this season, I knew it was going to be Lauren B. I totally called this. Damn, it feels good to be right. So I do actually think that Ben chose the best woman for him. Lauren B. I could just tell they had something. And that she was genuine and a little boring, because so is he. Insta, OMG. Selena Gomez has just taken the Insta crown. She's the most followed person on Instagram, which is interesting because she's nowhere close to being the most followed person on Twitter. She just beat out Taylor Swift. Selena right now has 69.6, Taylor is 69.3, but Taylor's team could just buy the extra 300,000 and they, they could be tied. So congrats to Selena. And by the way, if you guys want to follow me, I'm getting really close to that 69 million. By the way, it's just Misty Kingma. Weird is king. It's free cone day at Dairy Queen, so if there's one near you, go there ASAP after watching this video. March 15th, free cones all day, and it supports charity, which is awesome. It raises money for Children's Miracle Network hospitals. If you dip your cone in chocolate or sprinkles for a $1 donation, it'll go to those hospitals and help save kids' lives. Also free wait in line day. <laughs> With Harmonies, Camila Cabello has dropped a really cool mashup on her personal YouTube channel. Ahem, <clears throat> yes for personal YouTube channels, mine. So she got out her guitar in her bedroom with her teddy bear in the background and she's singing Drake's song Energy and then transitions into Rihanna's work. did Rihanna's work because you know there's so many comparisons between Fifth Harmony's work from home song and Rihanna's work proves that they're a-okay there's room for everyone right remember no tour group tonight but it'll be back May 10th Tuesday Bravo 10 p.m. be there and make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel for more Be Your Selfie show every Monday through Thursday